This is Halley's Comet as seen through a professional telescope. It looks like a fuzzy star, still some 60 million miles from Earth. You can see it with good binoculars, but it's unlikely to achieve the drama of these pictures taken on its last visit in 1910. Halley's makes an elliptical orbit around the sun, approaching Earth once every 76 years. Astronomers are gathering here in Greenbank at the National Radio Astronomy Observatory to study Halley's. And they're using this 160-foot telescope behind me. The material in comets is among the, the mo most uh, pristine, that is, the, the, most, uh, the, the least processed material surviving from the origin of the solar system. If we really knew what comets were made out of, we would know a lot more about how the, the solar system formed, and we would not know a lot more about the origin of the Earth. Astronomers believe radio telescopes give clearer readings than optical ones. The radio waves are amplified, then transformed into electrical currents to study the comet. It's primarily made up of water ice, and that tells us something about the actual chemical mixture uh, that was around at the time of the formation of the solar system. You can't actually see Halley's with radio telescopes, but this pair of German astronomers is viewing it with an optical one. It looks like a fuzzy star, a fuzzy, faint star. And using a special camera, they've recorded their findings on videotape. You at once see that this is not a star, it has to be something else. Then, if you see it a little bit later, let's say a few hours later, it has moved and then you know, of course, it's a comet. These Nitro Junior High students are using star charts and telescopes to study Halley's. Many have already seen the celestial visitor. I thought it was neat because I'd never seen the comet before and it's probably the only time I'll get to see it. It looked like just this big star with like clouds around it. Halley's will be around through April and if you can't catch it now, you'll have to wait till 2061. Alan Cohen, WCHS-TV, News 8, Greenbank.